holiday season here. So this could be a charged time in some ways. And you know, I think that sometimes we can judge ourselves. So I want to work with an emotion today that, you know, if it's too challenging, I invite you to just open your eyes, feel your feet on the ground, stroke your heart space, stroke your breastbone, connect with something pleasant in the room. And if it's okay, we'll just follow this. So just, you know, to support yourself uh, if it doesn't feel all right. But anyways, I'm going to invite you just to close your eyes and get nice and comfortable in your chair. If you have glasses on, it may feel supportive to take them off or it might feel just fine to leave them on. Mm -hmm. Just acknowledge yourself sitting in your chair, feeling your contact with the chair and this feeling being held, knowing that the chair is ultimately held through the building by the earth. This earth that has held you in every moment of your life and never ever judged you. You just feel being held. And then just breathe your attention in, feeling the sensations as the breath moves down through your sinuses and throat and chest and diaphragm all the way to your belly. You have a right to take up the space you inhabit. And feeling your feet on the ground and just touching in with the sensations that the soles of your feet, any sense of pressure, hardness, softness, coolness or warmth, maybe a tingling or aliveness. And with whatever you're sensing, just imagine that it can extend down through the building you're in. Deep down into Mother Earth, rooting and grounding you. And so now your attention is touched into these qualities of safety and acceptance and groundedness. It's able to be open to whatever might emerge in the space and invite in because we can judge ourselves in the holidays. Sometimes there can be a sense of unworthiness. Very, very common, almost ubiquitous. And this may be touching in with that sense of unworthiness. Invited in the word, maybe it brings up a memory, visualization of a moment of feeling unworthiness, or maybe just the word alone. And so allow your attention, we've stopped kind of with unworthiness, and now you want to drop into your heart space and feel, let go of the word unworthiness and feel the direct aliveness. How that's maybe reflected in your heart space, any sense of heavy or light, hard or soft, any kind of temperature, cool or warm, any kind of movement, the tightening, expanding, tingling, pulsing, flowing. After touching in with your heart space, just Allowing the attention to open, move wherever it feels drawn in the rest of your body, feeling the sensation. There's no agenda here, it's just a sincerity of curiosity. As you do this, feel out into the space also around your body as you stay connected with the sensation. Allow yourself to really feel and acknowledge that space around your body. 
60% of your attention on those qualities of openness, unstuckness, non-judgment, acceptance, intimacy, inclusion, receptivity, a balance and a peace, a stillness that cannot be harmed or pushed around by the intensity you might be feeling in your body. And so we hold this inclusive, open healing orientation and just allow what's happening for you to be fresh. If you find your mind thinking about it, just invite the attention back into the sensations, staying grounded in that, also including that sense of the space around you. Notice if what you're sensing, if there's a sense of liking it or disliking it, a sense of if there is, whether there's a wanting to get rid of it or push it away, kind of a, an aversion to it, or maybe a wanting of more of it if it's pleasant, sort of a greed for it. If there's either a liking or disliking, just acknowledge that and feel the sensations of that in addition to the base experience itself. Ease that out. And just with your attention, you don't have to do anything but allow your attention to distinguish those aspects. Holding this balance, sky and clouds, context and content, sensations and space. Can you be with this? If it's too much, hold your heart, feel your feet, open your eyes, connect with something pleasant, have a deep breath. If it's not, just be with this. Whatever the sensations, the aliveness, as they shift and move and morph. Maybe they get more intense for a little while. Maybe there's a sense of them relaxing and the relaxation creates space for new material to come in. You just hold this healing orientation and there's nothing to do. Our only job is not to have the attention collapse. And so this is the balance. Feel the balance. Know that with practice you can hold this balance ultimately with anything, even up to and including the process of your dying. This is something you can do. And so with a sense of appreciation for the fact that, wow, there's a possibility to master my emotional world, supported by it. You just have a sense of if there's any good energy we've developed, any merit, that we extend that out to all of life. We appreciate ourselves and our sincerity. We appreciate the possibility, the, the actuality of our healing. And we send out this wish to all beings everywhere of any kind, no matter what their leanings or orientation are. May all beings everywhere be truly, truly happy and know the gifts of our practice.